Hello there. Bobo, the Bitcoin is back. The subject of Bitcoin can never go on without price uh, investigation. Most who had invested in Bitcoin want the price to go up as quickly as possible. If can from 30,000 to 300,000 or even $3 million a coin. Bitcoin go to the moon. Why not? Who don't want to be rich anyway, right? But in reality, those days are hard to come by. Although it is still possible because Bitcoin is still relatively young. I think we have reached a stage whereby it is better to allow Bitcoin to grow at its own pace. Meaning, though Bitcoin has already proven itself beyond doubt, what it can do, like cheap, fast, though not the fastest, it's 24 7, 365 non stop. It's ledger fully transparent, immutable, and permanent in the blockchain. That's never been had so far. It was designed to do just that and it performed superbly well without missing steps in the last 14 years. What more you want Bitcoin to prove? Bitcoin is not in a hurry. Its technology seems too new, somewhat difficult. People need time to digest. So in a way, it is pacing itself to a lot of people to come on board, to try it, test it, understand it, learn how they can use it and move along progressively. As people adopt it in their own uh, lifestyle to make it a habit as time goes by. We take two uh, to three years to learn uh, because we are used to the credit card whereas in China do not have the credit card era. So they skip from cash direct to digital payment like WeChat and Alipay. Same here. If we do not have pay now or pay line in between, we could have to skip to Bitcoin payment given that the only available digital payment. So, oh, uh, by the way, pay now and pay la are concept copy from Bitcoin ecosystem, right? Fast and cheap. And in fact, now it's free for local transaction. I've said that it's still uh, used third party minimum. There's a single point of failure. It is centrally managed by the bank whose blockchain is never transparent and can be manipulated. So, if we look into the future, it is highly possible that people will ultimately redirect back to the Bitcoin ecosystem primarily because there is no middleman, no single point of failure, nothing but the truth in every transaction and particularly it's decentralized blockchain. That's why I say it is good for Bitcoin to progress step by step, allowing time for people to learn, adopt and come abroad. People the world over is understanding Bitcoin much better today. The world's biggest asset manager, BlackRock, Understand this now. Larry Finch, CEO, said Bitcoin is an international asset. Boy, 
When Larry said that, you better pay attention. His company managed ten trillion dollars of asset, and that is half of China's GDP, nineteen point three trillion, or combined uh, GDP of Japan, uh, India, and South Korea of nine point eight three trillion, and Singapore is only half a trillion. Black BlackRock is. 20 times Singapore's GDP. Now, you see the significance. So in a way, Bitcoin slow growing up is a good for many of us. At 30,000 now, there is still a lot of opportunity for many of us uh, to come aboard to accumulate it. Right? If it go to 60,000 or 100,000, uh -huh, it will be tough for many people. And at 300,000, not much chance anymore. Huh? And if 3 million, all us can only dream. Huh? So, wake up guys. All the good things I said about Bitcoin has been proven already. You see the news, you read the many articles, you see YouTube, you heard all the financial guru now. In the beginning, you may find me uh, talking nonsense, but over the years, your eyes and ears are opened up. You see for yourself, right? Things are happening. How true? You decide yourself, okay? Just consider yourself in them. It's a blessing that Bitcoin has not grown, uh, goes up that far yet. It needs, if you need to catch up, there's still a chance uh, uh, right now, and the time is now. With all that's happening, there should not be a doubt that Bitcoin will go up in the future. How fast depends on how quickly you can catch up. Just don't let it move uh, out of your reach. One of the uh, major reasons Bitcoin is moving so slowly is also mainly because we are dealing with money. Everyone knows, uh, everyone wants to be doubly sure, right? You uh, have been so mesmerized by the fiat currency for centuries that you are practically forced to accept and believe whatever the government say. So, the government says single dollar is your money, that's your money. Or US dollar is your money, you have to accept it, right? Fortunately or unfortunately, most government are moving or proving to be insincere and misleading throughout the last few decades. But last few decades, we have no choice, right? Until Bitcoin comes along. So, to shift towards Bitcoin completely right now is impossible. People will probably migrate slowly, maybe 1-2%, to 2%, then 5-10% to 10 and see how it progresses from there. We are right now exactly in the 1-2%. to 2 A marvelous opportunity, I must say. Don't wait till it gets 5 to 10 percent or above 20 percent where the red race begins. You will be left behind. Okay? Consider this. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. See you next time. Bye bye.